We all love the Met Gala, but check out the Pet Gala. Ah. These furry little friends have been glammed up in gorgeous gowns, recreating oh. memorable looks from past fashion events. <laughs> from rescue dogs to social media influencers, each pooch served. One hound even donned oh. Jared Leto's iconic outfit dressed as a cat. You could. That would suit you, Carl. You oh. could get a little... That is hell on earth. A little cat hat. Yeah. They're not. They're, they're, what's, what is that little dog? They're little dogs. It's a chihuahua. They're, like, chihuahua. they're just like little cats. Chihuahua. 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 Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> the budget sent her crazy yesterday. The Victorian budget. I can't. My brain's scrambled. It's all scrambled. It's like, so much dirt. Does not compute. <laughs> Billions of dollars. <laughs> Debt forever. <laughs> laughing, but we don't live in Victoria. And let me introduce you to Botang. He deserves some praise this morning because he's just broken the world record for the highest jump by a llama. <laughs> Springing up hair. almost 1.3 metres into the air, oh the majestic God. stallion with a very impressive coat <laughs> won't be celebrating stallion. for long, though, because he's got to get back to work. He's used as a stud, obviously. Oh. So he makes up to 15 babies a year. He's very busy. Um... And no wonder. I mean, look at that. The majestic stuff. Difficult to resist the yeah. temptation yeah. for those. Look, look at that hair. Hair. <laughs> Just Imagine if they, they lift up the coat and it's just it's two guys. Two oh, whoa. <laughs> it looks like one of those, you know. Looks like I a mean, that would explain all that. Oh, 15 kids. It's a lot. Right. Maybe making. It's a lot it needs a haircut one. for a start. It's like a rasta yama. <laughs> rasta yama? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I see where you got there. Rasta yama. Okay. Sorry, can you explain yeah, it? Yeah, okay. Rasta yama. <laughs> a moose is on the loose <laughs> and it's caused a problem for drivers in Alaska. Didn't you see that coming, Sarah? <laughs> the lanky-legged baby stopping traffic as it tried to follow in its Aww, mother's footsteps. Look at it. Blah, 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 blah. A good Samaritan stopped to help, but the mum did not appreciate it. <clears throat> Get back. Protective. In the end, mummy and calf opted to take the exit ramp. <laughs> as you do. It's probably wise. Look how cute that is. That's oh. cute. Look at that fat little baby going. <laughs> it's really struggling, isn't it, to keep on its feet? There you go. How about you, Alex? Very, very amusing. Hey. <laughs> on fire. Thank you, guys. Well done. <laughs> hey, in other news, astrologers have revealed the star sign you should avoid like the plague, the Gemini. And to absolutely nobody's surprise, the most undateable person is Gemini, with 42% of people refusing to date them. <laughs> That's funny. Neil, you're not a Gemini, are you? <laughs> no, I'm a Scorpio, but I can tell you, Monique Ryan is mysterious. She tries to impose her will on others. She makes decisions too quickly. And she's a bit eccentric. What, oh, what star sign right, are you, are you describing? It's a bit there? early in the morning for that sort of thing, isn't it? I'm an Aquarian anyway, but I have a son who's a Gemini and he's the most beautiful person in the world. I'm not buying into any hatred of Geminis. I think that's crazy. Hey, don't worry about it, Monique. We reckon oh, that's Sarah, just Neil's Sarah, interpretation of, of Sarah, flirting. Sarah, oh. <laughs> Sarah, <laughs> yes, not Neil. terrific. The internet tells me, Sarah, that uh, you hide your birth date, but you were born in 1986 on December 15. You're a Sagittarian, which means you're an extrovert. Is that right? Are you a, is that your birth date, or do you keep it secret? Where did you find that? December 15. I thought I hid that from everyone. On, the, on the interweb? The interweb knows oh, all. An extrovert, yeah. outspoken. All that stuff. Assertive. Is that you? She's not saying. We gotta go. I'm we gotta go. Stop, guys. Here. Yeah. He's Bye. stalking you. Oh, Bye. what's wrong? Bye. 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 All right, welcome back. You ready for this? Are you ready for this? There's I don't know no if we are. To the amount of excitement surrounding Narendra Modi's visit to Australia with thousands descending on Sydney to celebrate his trip. And in honour of the Indian Prime Minister's visit, we thought, what better way to join the celebrations than have some lessons in Bollywood dancing? And to help us out, we're joined by Gracie, Sweetie, Elizabeth and Jaden from Dance Bollywood. So good to have you guys here. Gracie, I mean, you've been doing Hollywood dancing for years, right? This is quite something. Since 20 years, yeah. Tell us a bit about the style. Uh, Bollywood is a fusion of old styles like uh, Indian traditional dance, contemporary with classical fusion with uh, hip-hop, funk and jazz. Too. Look, I have to be honest with you, uh, my team isn't the most coordinated... <laughs> Except for Brooke, she goes um, all right. In, ..in the world, <laughs> yeah. um, but the choreography <laughs> does look complicated. Can you talk us through some of it? 
It is a bit of effort of dedication and time and yeah. effort, but uh, for a song, for a Bollywood film song, it takes five to ten days, and for an award night, it might take 15 to 20 days. But really? it's really easy. But it's you fantastic. Just your it's fantastic. Effort and dedication. All right, and we saw some of the incredible celebrations yesterday with the PM visiting. Can you show us some of those moves? Of course. Yeah, yeah. 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 So How's you it just done? you will go just one hand okay. and clap. The other hand, yeah, clap. <coughs> Everybody. Everybody, my mother-in-law is going to love this. And contract <laughs> and sway your hips. Come on, Carl, sway those hips. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Everybody, everybody, contract, contract, sway your hips. Yeah, okay. Oh. Uh, we should just leave it to the professionals. This is easy. Let's do it again. Seven, eight, and. Look yep. around, look and pull. <laughs> Let's do the ballet. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> I love it. I can't do it. I'm so yeah. So uncoordinated. <laughs> and love the colour, love the excitement. If you're interested <sighs> I know. in taking some lessons yourself to dancebollywood.com.au, that's the site. Um, look, I must apologise to you, PM. Uh, in the last hour, whilst discussing Indian alternative medicines with Penny Wong, I did promote her uh, just a little. So we should let you know. <laughs> Thanks, Prime Minister. Appreciate it. Prime Minister? Well, you've just yeah, elevated just elevating her, yeah. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. I've just sampled already. <laughs> Penny Wong is a rock star and I'm happy for her to be promoted at any time. Oh, that's good. All right. Well, I was going to ask her about Bollywood films. What's your favourite? <laughs> Did you get that? This is to clinch the job, no, PM. No, I didn't. What's Sorry. your favourite Bollywood film? Oh, look, <laughs> Brett Lee, I was talking to you last <laughs> week. I was hoping that he'd be here for the, the Prime Minister Modi visit. He's over in India. He talks himself up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, doesn't he? In Bollywood. <laughs> he's not only a great cricketer, uh, but he's, uh, he tells me that Un-Indian is uh, the best... Bollywood movie that's ever been made. It happens to be the one that he debuted on. <laughs> we've just got a little, Pam, we've just got a little sample of it here. Let's just show Australia. Maybe PM Hick Bretley can recruit you for the next film clip he, he shoots. It's do you shocking. Oh, I, don't think, I don't think anyone wants to see me in a no, Bollywood that's really movie, good point. guys. <laughs> hey, thanks, PM. Uh, well done um, on uh, the Indian Prime Minister's visit. It's a terrific thing, I reckon, yeah. for this country. Good on you. Thank you so uh, much for your time. I'm looking forward to today very much. It'll be a really important meeting yeah. and we'll have some really positive things to come out of it, building on that relationship in areas like green hydrogen. Uh, it's such an opportunity for right. Australia. Just wish we could have turned the weather on, huh? <laughs> Thank you so much. Look, at the end of the day, the point is India uh, does India and will look after itself on the world stage. Would you expect our India to lend a hand if, say, we got in a stink with China? Uh, look, uh, one of the reasons that this partnership is so important is that we are partners for peace and stability in the region. Uh, and, you know, we share those interests. I think countries look to their own national interests. Mm. Australia does, uh, India does, uh, and China does, uh, as do all countries of the region and the world. But what's important here is we've got the world's uh, largest democracy, the world's most populous nation, India, saying we want to partner with you and others 
to ensure uh, an open and resilient Indo-Pacific, uh, that is uh, Indo-Pacific, a region which is peaceful and stable. We share those interests and Indian is such an important strategic partner for Australia and we welcome Prime Minister Modi uh, and his delegation All to right, um, Friday night we're going to have a date. Um, we're going to sample some Indian alternative medicines and watch some Bollywood there films together. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> Thanks, Prime Minister. Appreciate it. Prime Minister, well, Cheers. you've just yeah, elevated you know, just elevating her, yeah. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> I've just sampled already. <laughs> Thanks, Penny. Good to see you. Yeah, Must be that alternative medicine, Carl. <laughs> hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?